Welcome back, everybody. This is Dren608 pl uh, playing some... Um, I need to do something about the sound. Hang on a second. Sorry about that. Uh, the sound... The music gets a little bit hard. A little bit. Okay. Um, this is going to be a video on... An alternative. Uh, I had a basic base building in my first series of seven or eight videos. This is going to be sort of a ninth one. This is a way, again, this is not the best way necessarily, but this is a way that you can try and go ahead and start a base right away. Um, I tend to try and put it somewhere down here in this basin because I'm trying to cover parts of South America and most of North America. So I'll drop it like here. You have two and a half million to start with. That takes you out a whole million to place this, okay? First thing you do is you place the access shaft. Best place to place it is usually like right here or here, either one's good. It's going to take you 12 days. It gives you 10 power capacity. And what you need to build. This is just the way I do it. A storeroom. Takes 15 days. And a generator takes 12. So I tend to put uh, the generator. Let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So you can put the generator here. I will drop a storeroom here and a radar ray which is very expensive I'll go ahead and put here um, if you're gonna build it properly you should probably build a living quarters too but that can actually wait um, you want to build a hangar right away now, in 20 days, you're going to have a radar. You're going to have a, a bay to drop an, an aircraft into. Um, this is sort of the basic immediate, trying to get an immediate base up that's going to make a difference. Um, I actually usually build a second. One, two, three, four. So I'll build a second hangar as well. Now you could go ahead and drop a living quarters down here uh, if you're planning on sending some soldiers over. But it does take you down quite a bit on your money, so you might want to hold off until after you get the first mission and get some more cash. I already had my research going. My engineers are just going to generate a little bit of cash. Um, actually, I have them build two how did I start that? I start them with building two more of those. And then I don't build any more defender armor than that. Um, other than that, you don't really have a lot you can do. And that's kind of how you get it started. So now you have two bases in... Here in 12 days, you're going to have this, a power generator, and two... Um, bays for aircraft so one of the things you can do right away um, aircraft takes uh, oops I'm on the wrong base sorry um, aircraft will take four days so um, it's a balancing act here because you're way low on funds to be able to do anything in your main base uh, one of the things you probably want to build right away just so your soldiers stay alive since you're not going to expand this base anytime soon is I will go ahead and drop the medical center here just to try and help keep what soldiers I have alive and then you stop there And then you just go back out to the geoscape and just let things fly. 
And then you have the research team, which your team has to go out and take on. Okay. So we'll close this. And if you look, they're down here. So uh, you should be able to get there in daylight, and then you would go on from there. Um, so North America is going down on their funding because of... Um, there were some anomalies that popped up here, North America. Um, hopefully you're going to be able to get this up by the end of the month. You should have this up with a couple of airplanes in it. Then you'll have some air coverage over here for anomalies, and you'll have air coverage over here for most of your main missions. And that's basically how you do it. I mean, this is just going to be a short little blurb on how to build a second one like that. Um, if you were going to do this, you would go ahead and do this combat. We're pretty much already built. Just launch. Uh, zip out there. Hopefully we get there before nightfall. It'll be close. And then you go ahead and go into the battle. I am doing this on soldier difficulty on this on these examples because that's what I think most people are going to play when they first start it. Either on easy or soldier, which is what makes these things work. Um, I don't know how fast I can get this done. Because the next mission comes up like on 13 days or something like that. Come on, come on. Build up, build up. Okay. So, um... Is my shield... Um, I did not set up my troops right. There should be somebody back here. Okay, there's an alien over there, so we're going to take my sniper. So we're going to take a rifleman over here. Uh, oh, that's my heavy machine gunner. Oh, I didn't want to do it there, out there. Well, we'll have her take a shot. I just got lucky. And then just check over here. Um, this one. Just move out here. Check for more aliens. And run out to the barrels. Uh, got assault guys here. So we've got an alien way out there. So maybe I want to take... Uh, 22 is not good because it's a shotgun. Don't want shotguns. I want a rifleman. And they won't have any decent shots. So they're just going to go out here. Kneel down. Shotgun dude's going to go here. Shield. He's going to go over to this side. All the wrong people in all the wrong places because I didn't set up my my group right. And let's put the. Other assault guy over here. Sniper. Can't really get anywhere, so we'll put him out there. Out their pistol. And then we'll have this infantry person go here. Right, and then we just go boom. Hit the broadside of a barn. So we've taken down 
two, one of them already. Uh, we have, yes, I know. Stop it. Stop it! My people. So they've got to um, heal themselves for those bleeding wounds, otherwise they'll die out. Um, sniper. So this one. She only has one shot. Not a very good one. This one's going to step around. Too much cover. Oh man, cover's bad. So we're going to have them go ahead and throw this out there. Just trying to get rid of cover. And actually suppress them so that lets this guy move up to here. She kills the nails. He's going to switch to his rifle. Move over here. He's only going to have a a lesser shot, but and miss. Okay, so we're not doing too well. Now, unfortunately, I have a heavy over here, which is not going to help me. Where's my heavy? This infantry. Move around here, just trying to find aliens. Uh, I really don't have anybody that has any movement points left. I'm just going to kneel. She can't do anything. I have a shotgun. I'm just going to kneel and... Put the shield over here. Kneel and end the turn. Just gonna shoot again. I have one that runs out there. Friendly's running. Did some sh shooting there. Okay. They're very low health. Let's have the sniper. Only a 50. Oh, because that's in the way. Do I have a shotgun person here? Let's uh, blow that up. That should let my sniper have a 90% shot. And take that one down. Okay. Now I know there's one over here. I saw him go over there. There he is. We'll take some shots. Miss badly. Have the infantry move over here and take one shot and probably miss badly. Yep. So we're in trouble. These people are going to die. Can't get anywhere. He can at least get under some cover. Uh, sniper's done. She can't get anywhere where she can actually shoot down there. Again, I am hurting here. I'm not playing very smart. Okay, uh, do I not move this one? 
Well, the sniper could actually get up and move to here. Neil. That would let her not be able to get anywhere. All right. Well, to, oh, he hasn't moved. Okay. Nobody here. We'll move to this spot. Okay. This guy's over here is going to kill somebody. Yep. Yes, I know. For the love of Mike, give me my troops. So you got to play medic. Took that one down, so it's one, two, three out of like six or seven that they have. Other doors way down there, so we'll just kind of move up to here. Kneel down and wait. Shield. Kneel down and wait. Kneel down and wait. Stay there. So infantry will come back over here to kneel down and wait. And then we've got some exploratory stuff to do here. So it doesn't look like there's anything back that way. It doesn't look like there's any down this way. So we'll go back behind cover just in case. Um, this shotgun. So I'm just creeping up slowly but surely trying to see if I can see anything. And there's one over there, so I'm going to go over to here. Kneel down and wait. And that's everybody but the sniper. Uh, sniper doesn't have... I want the sniper to go up the top of the building. Uh, can't quite get in there, so I'm going to go here and kneel. All right, and we end the turn. So one coming from over here somewhere. So. Okay. You're going to kneel down there. So I have to get up to this junction up here. He's not in that space anymore, so he's moved. I 
and looks like the good guys got one down there. So I'm just going to kneel down here. This guy's going to move up to this door over here because we can't open these doors. Oh, we can actually open these doors. All right, so yeah, we'll move over here. Shield dude. No bad guys there. It looks like this is the edge of the board over here. So if that's the edge of the board, we're going to have to come back this way. Let's check our sniper. Can probably move up a space. Can kneel. Look out that way got another infantry person that we can have run to here. And kneel down. And that's everybody. So it should be four or five. There's another one down there. Shooting people. Okay, so we know there's one down there. And the good guys killed two of them for us. So we got through that. We took a lot of wounds. Bad thing. Okay, so there you go. Right through the first mission. Um, I'm hoping to be able to skip up some days here before we get another mission. Let's just show you how the base progresses. Uh, come on, come on, come on. Get through it. Get through it. Get through it. Load the thing. Load already. Alright, so, yeah, I've got lots of people that are very badly injured. Uh, that's just part of the, par for the course. Alright, uh, get us back into the base. Alloys, Sekton. We want to finish up the Mars. Uh, he's just going to be generating, it looks like it's 50 money per hour per engineer. So he's just going to generate us a little bit of money here because I really don't have anything to build yet. Um, you go back out to the Geoscape. I can't remember when the next mission comes. Uh, well, let's just speed it up and see how fast it can go. Okay, so we've got that. We signed the research project. I always go for Warden Combat Armor because I want to keep my people alive. Um, and then my engineers are actually going to spend some money and build the Mars combat, combat thing. And okay, so we're just gonna let them finish doing what they're doing. There. So the access lift, the generator, and both hangers are done. So I wanted to show you what the space looks for now. Three days you'll have a storage room, and eight days you'll have a radar. So now you have these here. Um, the next one up is a is a uh, a site. So what you need to do is you need to wait until you get. Okay, that's the intelligence hub. We can let that go. That can wait until you get some equipment. Um, one of the things you can do now is you can go in here. I just wanted to show you this mechanic. Uh, how long is my engineers going to be? Okay, so the engineers, what we're going to do is you're going to go in here. You can click on this, and you can say relocate this aircraft. It sends it to North America. And then you go into your engineer screen, and you immediately go... Uh, Build me another interceptor. Oh, cost three hundred and fifty thousand. Okay, so I have to go sell some stuff. Uh, let's just sell off the scanners. So 
so that I have enough to do this. And then you build. Oh. Go ahead and build an interceptor. And just about five days you'll get um, your second inter your interceptor up. And you're running a real tight race here, okay? You're running really low on funds. You're, you're trying to sneak your way through some of this. Problem is, is I also want to build Defender Armor to be able to go after this Intelligence Hub. Because you really kind of need that. Or not Defender, uh, Warden Armor to protect yourself. Um, so that's kind of how you do it. All right. So that's a quick, quick run through first mission after trying to establish a second base. It's a very tight monetary thing. You're going to sell things off probably before you want to, to in order to make the money to be able to do things. Um, you really are going to want to get a second aircraft over in North America. Make sure you have at least two here in Europe. And you're going to have to just kind of get through that till you get to the second month. You get a bunch of funding from the second month. Then you build another hangar in each place. Uh, build a third interceptor. Transfer it. Build a third interceptor. You'll have three interceptors on both. By somewhere in mid middle of the second month, you should have two uh, bases that can intercept. And then you can kind of split where you build uh, extra scientists and extra workshops. Is this the right way to do it? I don't know. If it's the best way to do it, I don't know. It's a way to do it, okay? So just to give you an idea of how you can set up a second base and get things running, and then a quick run through that first uh, that first mission just so we could get the timer to show you how the base progresses. All right, so there's a little idea on how to start off with two bases early on. Um, I was using soldier difficulty. You go up to higher difficulties, you have less money to start with. It's less likely you can get away with starting up that base. Uh, why it costs a million for me to dig a hole in the ground, I don't know. You would think that we would be using much as what she said for the one that we got. It's like an old 60s era nuclear bunker. Why wouldn't we just grab some more of those, like, wherever we drop our base? Just old bases that the, that country doesn't have anything to do with. Um, I think a million's a little high. Maybe a million for, like, the U.S., but I think, like, if you were dropping them in South America or Africa, um, it ought to be cheaper because they're less likely to want as much money. But it seems to be a million to drop any base. You'll be lucky if you can get two. Um, the kind of base I just built here in North America, that's as best as your third base is probably going to ever get. Because you're going to run out of money to support it all. Um, you do have to get more scientists. You do have to get more... Uh, engineers so you can get stuff done faster so when you go this way you're you're on a slow burn rather than trying to ramp everything up in your main base and then building the second base in the second month that's a viable way of doing it too where you can just drop a bunch of funds over here and then uh, you know replace and and do things I probably will go with one main base here in Europe which covers three of my partners and then in the second month, I would drop one in North America, somewhere around here where it's covered in part of Latin America and almost all of North America. And then maybe in the third month, if you still have the funding for it, you might drop one um, over here somewhere that would cover parts of Soviet Union and a good portion of the Asia Pacific. You have to drop it around in here somewhere where my mouse is bouncing so that you cover uh, a good portion of the of your funding countries and then just play it from there uh, upgrade your radars as you can so that you get more coverage upgrade your fighters so you can actually shoot down nasties and so on and so forth um, one other thing to do that I didn't do in my initial game which I wanted to show you in this one is go to here on the Mars there's this little thing here see the Mars has 80 time units 100 health 50 accuracy, 100 strength, 25 reflex, and 100 bravery. If you click on this button here, it's going to take down your 12, your time units by 12, but give you plus 10 armor. Uh, I know a lot of people say the armor doesn't help. It does. Uh, it means that they have um, 25 armor. Yeah, it starts with 15. 
So it adds 25 points of armor that the enemy has to get through with penetrating shots and stuff. And it should let your Mars take maybe one more hit. Um, it's not going to go very fast, but I'm using a missile-based one. Missiles shoot for uh, 25 tiles. So um, if you go with this one, it shoots 30 tiles, but it's only one shot at a time. And you can only get off two shots around. With the missiles, uh, you're only going to get, it says 50% of your time units. You can still get two shots off. Um, or you can fire three missiles at 60%. Like if you know that there's a whole gaggle of them behind uh, a bunch of walls and stuff, you can like just unleash and then run away. <laughs> Is essentially what you do. Okay. So it's, uh, go ahead and throw the heavy steel plating on the Mars. It might make it last a little bit longer in your missions, especially that, that hub mission where you basically have to use him to, uh, um, you're going to use the Mars to, to bust into the building and then everybody that's got any kind of time units, uh, is what you're going to use to to go forward okay so that's just a quick overview none of these guys are fast enough to go all these guys are slow as heck uh. hey. so everybody i've got is really really slow uh, shields up to 63 57 62 45 61 55, 58, so I don't have the best troops here. I should have hired a couple troops to get um, to get people with more time units. But that's what that is a way to build a second base. Okay, and it's only going to be a matter of about eight days. So around the 21st day, I'll actually have a radar working here. And if I can get some money from the intelligence hub and the downed UFO, you drop up some more money and build another, you send in a second interceptor to North America, build another one, and then you have two interceptors at each base, and then from there you expand out in the second month is where you actually start gearing up everything. Um, I think for me, I probably would gear up the first base and worry about building the second base in the second month. Try and keep all your funding and everything up here, and just build this base up, and then this one you build up in the second month, and then in the third month you drop down what essentially is an interceptor outpost. It'll have these things and probably one uh, living quarters that you can drop like eight soldiers in there and a couple sentry guns to try and defend the base if they decide to attack it. And other than that, you won't do much. You might also put a medical facility in there to help heal anybody. You can always transfer over healthy soldiers from one place to the other and put the wounded ones where their medical facility is and that kind of stuff. So you play those kinds of uh, switching games, which when I do my uh, live run through, I probably will do some of that and I will be able to show you how some of that works. Okay. So anyway, that's it. That's what I wanted to show you. Um, if you like what you see, hit the thumbs up button. If you really like, see, so you go ahead and subscribe. Hit the notify bell. Be notified to upload videos and reschedule streams. And I'm Dren608. Until we meet again, stay safe and bye-bye. I will be streaming here in the next few days, so look on my channel for the schedule of the streaming. Okay? Bye-bye.